have been through my fair share of relationships, breakups and love in the public eye. So I'm dedicating this video to all of that and my feelings about it. I will always be open to falling in love. It's just what I'm good at. I fall in love with everyone. No one and no relationship will ever make me cautious. I will always fall in love exactly the same amount. I mean, one I was most happiest when I was younger was someone called Ryan. I was just so happy with him when he finished this because he fell out of love with us. Just a common thing what happens to me. After that would probably have been Stephen. With Stephen, I thought I had everything I ever wanted. We were both in the public eye and just everything was right. So I think it would have probably been with Stephen. Oh, it's down from day one. The guard was never there. There was never a guard. Like after day one, I'm like, I love you! Let's be together forever! When I'm really heartbroken, I struggle to eat. I can't get out of bed. I constantly cry. I have to be with me mum. I have to, I can't be with anyone else but me mum. And I just sob into me mum's arms. It's such an awful feeling, heartbreak. I've had a lot of hurtful experiences. Obviously going through the F-topic pregnancy with Gary was pretty hurtful. It was, it was a really awful thing to go through. Is in a proper relationship, when Stephen finished us and kissed that girl in the nightclub two days afterwards, the pain of that, that was like actually being stabbed like a thousand times in the chest. I cannot wait to have kids in the future. I am 28 years old this year, but 30 is the perfect age, so I've got two years. Josh is still so young, but oh, sorry Josh, I'm just gonna have to be a young dad. So my overall advice for relationships and love is don't ever let a previous boyfriend affect the way you're gonna be in a relationship in the future because they are not worth that. You love just as hard as you did before and do it again because not everyone is arseholes and sometimes it's worth taking the risk.